Because I know a spell too, Ben. One that makes you better. She walks into a witch doctor one time and thinks she's Willow Rosenberg. Howdy, everybody. My name is Nick. If this is your first time here, how's it going? If this is not your first time here, first and foremost, I hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, hydrated. And like the community tab mentioned, I did switch apartments. Now, obviously, it doesn't look that different. It's just reverse. I legit switched to a different unit that had nicer finishes and stuff like that. But it is a mirrored unit. So everything is reverse. Honestly, I'm trying to like figure out how I feel about that because normally I always record with the camera on the left side of my face. So now it's going to be on the right side of my face. I don't know how I feel about that because the left side of my face is kind of giving like sloth from the Goonies, whereas the right side of my face is giving, I don't know, sloth if he was less slothy, I guess. I don't know. It's different. It's different. I'm afraid of change. <laughs> now, a couple days ago, I asked you guys what you were interested in seeing me react to next. I still have a bunch of stuff planned, but it's kind of like planned over a course of time. However, you guys gave me like a million and four different movies and TV shows to watch, which is great. Some of them have already been watched and are over on my Patreon, so check that out below. But there has been a movie that has been on my list to watch since I started this channel. And other things just kind of kept getting in the way of it. But then there was multiple responses that I got when I asked you guys, so it got pushed to the front. So for today's video, we are going to be watching 2005's The Skeleton Key. I don't know what the plot of this movie is, but I do know that this movie stars Kate Hudson, and I do know that this movie stars Gina Rowlands, who played older Allie in The Notebook, and y'all know that I love The Notebook. It was us. Oh, it was us. Darling. Oh, my sweetheart. <laughs> I remember this movie coming out. I really don't remember like what people thought about it. I kind of get the impression that this was maybe a movie that wasn't super well received when it first came out. But over time, people have sort of uh, had a, you know, moment to pause and reflect. And now they uh, kind of have an appreciation for it. So I'm really excited to get into it. I couldn't even tell you the last Kate Hudson movie that I watched. Was it How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? I don't even think I've ever seen How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I know How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Before we get into this, though, if you would be so kind to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification notification button so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you're interested in catching up with me outside of YouTube, you can catch up with me on both Instagram and Twitter slash X. And if you're interested in seeing more content from me, you can check out my Patreon. If you look down in the description below, you can check out all of the things that I have reacted to over there. Hundreds of things. I think when I uploaded something this morning, it said that it was my 260th upload. So lots of stuff. You should go check it out. But it's movie time, y'all. It's movie time. Without further ado, let's get into the skeleton key. No sooner said than done, bareheaded as we were. We ran out at once in the gathering evening. Is she like a hospice nurse, maybe? It's giving Dr. Sleep a little bit. Oh, he actually did just die, so it is kind of like Audrey, a Dr. Sleep situation. Sorry. Mr. Talcott's gone. Okay. I don't know how I would feel about visibly seeing someone die in front of me. Front desk, in case anyone shows in case anyone shows. So he didn't really have a lot of family or friends, it would seem. Oh, that's rough. Oh, no. Oh, that's so pretty. I want to go to New Orleans, specifically before it eventually, like, is completely submerged in water. But I just want to go to all the voodoo places and all the places they were at in Coven. I interview tomorrow. What about your job? I had enough for that place. So she wants to go from what she was doing to being like an in-home hospice nurse. Is there like a specific reason why she seems to want to help people into the great beyond? This work you're doing, are you sure it's not changing you? I'm 25 years old. I was, I was 24, 24 for a whole year. year. <laughs> That's cool looking. Also the fact that she's driving a Volkswagen Beetle. You could definitely tell that this was from like early to mid 2000s because that was the thing. Everybody wanted one of those back then. What was that? Private residence, no admittance, keep out. Okay, this is giving Forrest Gump. Chutney, why don't you love me, Chutney? Oh, like, okay, I'm getting Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. I'm getting True Blood. I'm getting Forrest Gump. Hello? Do Hello? D D okay, I was like, is she about to go in the damn house? I don't know why they always do that in movies. Hello? 
Oh no, she is. Y'all, stop going into houses that you do, like you wait. Oh, oh my God. If you knock and you don't hear anything, that is not an invitation to come into the house. This is how people get shot. Now that right there is what love is all about. Old fashioned devotion, like what you read about. No, that right there is what my haircut looked like the other day. It was bad. I'm Luke Marshall, a state lawyer. Talked on the phone. Oh, right. Doc's figure a month, maybe. He's pretty far gone. I understand. His wife's having kind of a rough time with it. Most people do. Right. <laughs> I mean, unless they hated each other, I would imagine she would have a rough time. You have a visitor. I don't know where I know that man from, but I know that man from somewhere. Was he in one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies? <laughs> Bitch, is you blind? You have a lovely home. She's probably like, how do you know? I didn't fucking invite you in it. She's not gonna understand my house. She's from New Orleans. She wasn't raised in New Orleans. I can't look at her without seeing Allie. <laughs> That's Allie. She's losing her soulmate here. Now, I don't know about you, but that puts some sandpaper up my ass. What the Ugh. The last girl quit. You're the fifth interview since. She shoots down everyone, okay? It's not personal. Is there somebody else in the house? She said I wouldn't understand the house. Why'd she say that? All I know is her check's clear. She wouldn't understand the house? What the hell is wrong with the house? Is the house alive? Is this like a monster house situation? Yeah. He'd be proud of you. You know he would. Who is he? Someone died. She knows somebody that died. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. That kind of reminds me of like the salt in front of the doorway in Supernatural. I think that that's something like to prevent spirits from coming in. Ugh. Hello? You need to leave. The oh no. This, no, this is too Texas Chainsaw for me. You need to leave. Somebody back there? Yeah, Thomas Hewitt, probably. <gasps> oh my. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Excuse me, I'm, I I just need to pay for some gas. Was that the woman that was walking on the road earlier? Keep the change. Right, she said, get me the f up out of here. Wait, that house has it too. Whatever that red line is, trying to keep out some spirits, I feel. There's no mirrors in the house. Is it vampires? I'll be taking care of you for a while. No, don't like that. So you're a fan of the blues, huh? Well, so is mine. Oh, oh no, oh no, you're oh no. Ben, you're hurting me. Ouch. There you are. Well, thanks, guys. Ugh, it was fun. What was that all about? I bet you're all marked up, aren't you? Marked up? Written on. Like tattoos? Well, yes. We came over from Savannah in 62. We bought this house from a brother and a sister. Yeah, but what's wrong with this house? Martin and Grace. Charming people, but they fell on hard times. That's kind of weird to feature on your mantelpiece photographs of the previous owners of your house. That's just weird. Why was that hidden? That has crystal in China, and I keep a very close account on that, just so as you know. <laughs> She's like, you ain't stealing my shit. In the old days, they made a separate key for each room. For the owner, they made a skeleton key. And there it is, title drop. I noticed in the bathrooms also there are no mirrors. <laughs> Child, when you get as worn out and wrinkled as we are, you don't need any reminding. If you want a small one for your own purposes, that's fine with me. I get it. <laughs> that's probably not the reason that there's not a mirror in the house, but I get the sentiment. And for the most part, just realize that I'll live here as if you're not in residence. After all, we're not kin. <sighs> she is the most polite bitch that I have ever seen. Do me a blessing, child. Will you run up to the attic for me? I have some seed packets in a box. I don't know how I feel about the attic. We haven't even gone up there and I, I don't trust it. Oh no, there's not even a light. No, 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 no. What was that? Is there somebody else in the attic? Yes, that is definitely the sound of somebody on the other side of that wall. What the hell is that? That's like someone pushing against the door from the other side, right? Oh no. And you know she's about to go downstairs and be like, I heard somebody up there and she's gonna be like, it was the wind, honey, it was the wind. Yeah, I had a feeling when she gave her the key and said that it opened every door to the house that there was going to be at least one door that it didn't open. What took 
you. Jeez. Oh, no, the attic. It's, it's never opened that. Why not? I have no idea. She's a lying-ass bitch. Ben was in the attic, wasn't he? When he had a stroke? She's putting two and two together. Is there like ghosts in the attic? Are there people in the attic? Maybe it's like, there was this movie I saw this one time with, I think it was Kate Beckinsale. And I think it was called The Disappointment Room. And it's like a thing that they actually used to have where if you had like handicapped children or stuff or like kids that you were embarrassed about, they would put your ass in this separate room so that when people came over, they didn't even know that you had this kid. Crazy. I'm sorry, is she showering without a shower curtain? That's weird. What? Where is that coming from? Oh, wait a minute. He's wheelchair bound though. So how the hell did he get out of the bed without the wheelchair? Oh my God, he crawled out onto the roof? Stop right there, man! This is giving, get me the up out of this house. The way in the last scene, he was like a stroke victim who was wheelchair bound and couldn't talk and couldn't bathe himself. And now he just fully rolled off the roof and it's fine. Got out of the window. I thought you said he was bedridden. Oh, he's having spasms. Spasms? No, 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 bitch. Crawling out of the window and rolling off the roof is not a spasm. That is a plan. Help me. Oh, shit. Oh, like, what could it be? I don't think it's her. I don't think it's the wife. I feel like that's a misdirect. Eh, wrong answer, forehead. So you're here two days and you already tried to kill him, so. Must have some kind of bedside manner, huh? Thanks, dick. You cannot be serious from up there? He fell from up there? Yes. <laughs> How? He can't even walk. A, a valid question. This is what we're all trying to figure out here. You know what my mama used to say? If the lady invites you into her room, she probably isn't much of a lady. Yuck. Last night. And what is laundry? No, I feel like she cleaned that. If it is the wife, if it is the wife, I feel like she went in there and she cleaned it or she switched out the sheet. I quit college to help out with some friends' bands. Out all night, always on the road. My father thought I was throwing my life away. So we didn't talk, didn't visit, and stubborn and proud, and that's how we left him. He was gone before I even knew he was sick. I guess he wanted to spare me from all this. Was that so wrong? Not really. I just had this conversation with somebody a couple weeks ago, like saying, personally, like if I, I, I couldn't, I wouldn't want to tell people. You ever feel like? A plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. Ooh. All right, so she's crafty. What is that? Was that part of a key? Like the key broke off? Oh no, I don't feel like she should have done that. See, she just fucking released the evil. This is the equivalent of reading from the Necronomicon, I feel. What the hell? Do I even want to know what's in the jars? What the fuck is that? No, no, leave it, leave it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, don't open it. Receipt book of Papa Justify and Bless for Blessed Teachings? What? Conjuration of Supreme Witches? I don't know what kind of witchcraft, if it's Brujaria, Santeria, Voodoo, I don't know. Is that a, no, no, no. Put that down. I, I swear to you, if she plays the fucking vinyl record that literally says it is a witchcraft spell. I am not gonna lose it no matter what I do. I am not gonna lose it. What is she gonna do? What is she gonna do? Where is she gonna go? She dropped it. You're forgetful, child. Oh, she picked it up. Okay, good for her. But you know what she should do now? She should put it back where it fucking came from and not attempt to play it. What did I say? I think, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh. From the dry dust of these chains. Y'all remember Evil Dead Rises? Literally this, this is what happened. Is that the sound of someone screaming? She says it's been locked up ever since they first moved in. Find yourself a hoodoo room. A hoodoo room? Is that what it's called, hoodoo? Hoodoo. You know what hoodoo is? No, I do not. It's magic. American folk magic. God doesn't have much to do with it. Oh, no. It's part African, part European, part Native American. Come on, multicultural magic. 
there. There? That's a laundromat. It's probably like in a back room or something. I thought you don't believe in this stuff. I don't, but I'm not just gonna mess around with it. So you wanna go in? Go ahead. That's how I feel about Ouija boards. It's like, like I'm not religious, so I can't be, you know, I'm not going to risk it even if it were, like, no, 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 we, no. <laughs> what, what happened? A mirror appeared. Did Kate Hudson put that there? I've seen the room. Oh no. Child, you don't know what you've seen. Well, you're gonna tell me right now, or I'm leaving. Oh, honey, she didn't want you there in the first place. Like, how is that a threat? Well, you just don't go in and throw things out of a room like that. You leave them just where you found them. Why? Tell me why. About 90 years ago, there was a banker here. His name was Thorpe. Story time. It was him, and his family, and a couple of servants. Mama Cecile and Papa Justify. Interesting names. <laughs> Papa Justify. Papa Justify was a two-headed doctor. He was a conjure man. He abused him. Until one night, there was a party. When it was time to say farewell, some of the guests wanted to wish goodbye to the children. But nobody could find them. What do they do? Up in the attic. Oh. And y'all decided to do this during the middle of a party? Y'all couldn't have done this when the parents were like in town or something? Wait, they're gonna hang them? Wait, not only did they hang them, but they burnt them as well? Oh my God. The party was over. Well, whatever curse they put upon the land, every f***er deserves it. Cause that is insane. You see him in the mirrors. Servants. Okay, so she thinks that the ghosts of the two people that were killed did that to the husband, caused him to have the stroke when he went up into the attic. Because now I'm like wondering, like, is it the ghost of the servants? I don't know. I feel like there's some sort of like a twist, like something that up until this point we're being led to believe one thing, but I feel like there's something else at play. Ouch. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, I feel like something's gonna happen. Oh, she's gonna see something. She's gonna see something. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Like, I get that she doesn't believe, but she is playing with fire. Look at his face. Even he's like, don't, don't, no, bitch, don't. You see, why would you do that? Why? Oh, no. You know what? It's kind of like popping into my head now that I'm thinking about it. I wonder if they're not, if like the two older people, if they're not actually husband and wife, I wonder if they are the kids from the flashback. I mean, I guess she wants answers, so I guess I can't blame her, but I don't know. Like, I'm a curious person, but I'm not that curious. That brick dust at the door, how's it work? Nobody that means you harm can cross it. I'm gonna do that as soon as I'm done recording this video. It's like hypnotism, right? And when this stuff works, it's because someone believes it works. And if you thought, you know, magic made you sick, you might believe in a magic cure, right? Even though it's all in your head? Somebody been working roots on you. Say I knew someone who believed he'd been uh, crossed. I mean, like, I get what she's saying, but like, again, I'm not a religious person, but I would never walk into a church and try to call into question their beliefs. Like, that's crazy to me. This is hospice. You're supposed to help this guy die. He believes in this stuff. So what? Who's he to you? Yeah, I was just about to say, this is probably like her feeling guilty over not being there for her dad when the dad died. But would you look at yourself? You want to be a nurse and you just walked out of a witch doctor's. It's not for me. See, it's very interesting though. Cause like I said, like I get what she's doing. She may not believe, uh, well, I feel like there is a small part of her that is like questioning whether or not it's real, but she is like genuinely trying to help this guy, but doing it in a way that doesn't like really mess with his beliefs and doesn't mess with hers. So I get it. I'm gonna show you something. It's gonna be our secret. Although I feel like she thinks that this isn't gonna be a real thing, but I feel like this is actually going to work. <laughs> Cause I know a spell too, Ben. One that makes you better. She walks into a witch doctor one time and thinks she's Willow Rosenberg. Hey, queen. He's like, thank you. This damn fart was lingering. Oh, he's like crying. I feel like he's crying because he's like, you don't understand what you're doing. Y'all, what if he just dies? <laughs> like, what if she kills him? Help you how, Ben? Okay. 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 
here. Get me out of here. Oh, what? What is the twist? I need to know. What happened to you in that attic? Who are you afraid of? Tell me who you're afraid of. He's afraid of her. He's afraid of the wife. I don't trust her. I don't think she's a good person. So is she actually evil? I feel like somebody is possessed. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ugh, what the f Ghost shit. So now she just decided to leave? Maybe it's the reverse. Maybe he's the actual bad one and Gina Rollins is good and is like trying to keep him locked in there or something. I don't know. You're a superstitious person, Carolyn? Not per se. I told my mama where I was working. Ooh, stunning shot. That last owners were some rich brother and sister. Crazy people, supposedly. They died of strokes right after they sold the place. Maybe they found something they shouldn't. Maybe now Ben did too. I'm not convinced that they're not brother and sister. I ain't no ghost, but a spell on that old man. She did. I knew it. I knew that she did something. She did something. Hey, stop the car. What? Stop the car. Come on. I've been here before. I'll show you. I had a feeling that she was going to end up back at this gas station for some Good reason. Hey, are you sure this is a good idea? Are you sure it's a good idea? Do you see the f***ing place you're walking into? It looks like the cabin from Wrong Turn. No. You know a record called The Conjurer Sacrifice? This woman looks like the old lady from The Others, <laughs> like the witch lady at the end. It keeps you from dying, not forever, but for a while. How? You have to sacrifice somebody and take the years that they have left. Yeah, I'm still lost. I'm still trying to put it together, but I, I don't know. Like maybe Gina Rollins put the spell on the husband to take the time that he had left so that she could continue leaving or leaving, living. See, this bitch is in here doing spells and shit. No. no. See, I knew it. She now took the record, but she also took the sheet earlier. Ah! Uh-uh, no. Tell me when I can look. She's smart though. If y'all think that I'm not about to do this as soon as I, hell yeah, I'm about to do this. I'm about to put that little thing across. I'm gonna put some salt and some brick dust. Come on in, I, I can show it to you better. Well, I... uh... you want this for the seal? All right. <laughs> She's like, get your ass in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny one, Caroline. She knows. She probably knows. Would you be so kind as to join an old lady for supper? Uh-uh. I ain't... Um, hell no. I am not putting anything you make into my f***ing mouth. What the f*** is she doing? Oh, she's drugging the sugar cubes to knock Gina Rollins out. I don't think it's Gina Rollins, though. I think this whole thing is a misdirect. Would you like some sugar for your tea? I put it out for you. No, I don't think I'll have any sugar tonight. <laughs> Can I also just like to pause for a second and address the fact that in every single scene of this movie, Kate Hudson's hair has been on point. Every single scene. She's giving Buffy season five hair and y'all know what that does for me. Uh-uh, uh-uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Oh, maybe it will work. I don't know. What have you done? He is my husband, and I will do to him whatever I wish to do. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Even husband and wife, you still have to ask permission. He's mine. Keep him in this house. You better stop him. Stop, stop her, stop her. I'm trying to think of, like, what could it be? What if Gina Rollins, what if she's possessed by the female that got killed, the servant that got killed, but the husband is possessed by the owner of the house that killed her? Maybe that's it. No. Yeah, girl, she cut your beautiful hair. I mean, he rolled off the roof pretty well. I would have just... I have this feeling that she's gonna get him in the car and she's gonna go to like drive out off of the property and she's not gonna be able to get past the line because he's actually the evil one. Honestly, I feel like if you would have hit that with the car, it would have opened. Hold on. Oh, never mind. She's trying it. 
Maybe not. Maybe maybe the bug wasn't <laughs> up to snuff. I'm gonna get help. I won't leave you. I won't leave you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Everything inside me is screaming out that her heart's in the right place, but I think it's switched. I think it's switched. I think the husband's the bad guy. Luke! Oh shit, she actually did get out. I left him there. You didn't leave anyone, okay? Now slow down. Wait a minute. I think he's in on it. I think the lawyer is in on it. I also feel like there's something like having to do with the fact that she doesn't believe in it. What happened tonight? We need to record this. Well, then why did you just walk into the other room? Yeah, go double check that shit. I don't trust him. I didn't trust him the second that he showed up. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, he's in on the hoodoo. He do do the hoodoo. Are they trying to steal her youth? Oh, shit. Balls, you gotta hit him in the balls. I think he's possessed. Well, yes. Where is he, Caroline? What does she see? What does she see? Oh, does she think that if she runs into that room that they won't be able to cross it to get to her? But she has to believe in it. It's not gonna matter if she doesn't believe. Okay, so I guess it worked, because he looked down at it. But I can't tell if, like, are they possessed by the original owners of the house? Are they possessed by the servants that got killed? <gasps> oh, oh, shit. You use my tips on me? Uppercutter. Ah. Oh, she just blew dust in her eyes. Or, no, that was probably, like, dirt or some shit. Is she gonna throw her ass down the stairs? Oh, oh, yep. Giving scary movie. <laughs> oh, her vision's all weird. I think she drugged her. Whatever she blew into her face, I think she drugged her. Oh no. Oh no. Like, what did she do? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that she threw her ass over the banister, rolled down the stairs, and somehow she's still up, like, walking around. <laughs> uh, that's right. Come on, Willow. I want her to get. Full into it. Let's do Let's up. Why do they always do that in movies where they completely cut their palm open? You could like the tip of the finger, y'all. There's no reason that they always do that. I believe you broke my legs. She should have broke your spine. This is your spell of protection. Is that what that is now? Did she just reverse psychology her? All that circle protects is you from leaving it. <laughs> We've been waiting for you, Caroline. Waiting for you to believe. It doesn't work if you don't believe. I believe I can fly. I believe that I can touch the sky, but that, oh no. Wait, so they're possessed by the kids? Oh no. What does it mean? Who are they possessed by? What the also, not them having like 30 million candles lit in this old ass rickety attic on top of the wood floors. Say it with me, fire hazard. Did she switch? I feel like she switched. Oh, f she switched bodies. Cecile, you all right? If I now justify. Okay, so it is the servants that got killed. So they've just been switching bodies with people over the years. I told you I wanted a black one this time. You know the black ones never stay. <laughs> because they're the ones that are smart enough to get the fuck out. See ya, wouldn't want to be here. Which makes sense, because literally every single black person in this movie was like, nah, -uh, don't do that, stay away. <laughs> like, don't. I wonder if she's gonna be able to tell that they switched or that like something's off, that it's not her. They really loved her. Why do you say that? They left her at the house. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. So that means that he is actually, that's the lawyer in his body. Written by Aaron Kruger, the same man who wrote Scream 3. So that was, oh God, I have, I have so many thoughts. Did I enjoy that? 100%, that was good. Okay, so I, uh, mentally I just sort of need to go through it to make sure that I'm understanding it. The servants that lived in the house, they said that the owner of the house abused them. And so then they had a big party the one night and they couldn't find the kids. They found the kids upstairs doing the spell. And what actually happened is that the two servants switched with the kids and technically the townspeople and the family that 
that lived there, the parents, burnt their own children alive. And so they've just been switching with people in an attempt to continue to live forever. Okay, so that I get. I guess where I'm sort of like not sure how to feel about it, I feel the way that it was portrayed up until the ending, until the twist, you felt bad for the servants because it was horrifying what happened to them with the whole, you know, being hung and being burned, which obviously, you know, bad. But I guess the thing that I'm confused about is how we're supposed to actually feel about the, the Father Justify and, and whatever the, the, the woman's name was, I don't remember. I could understand them switching with the owners of the house. I'm assuming they switched with the kids because they wanted revenge and that's like the ultimate revenge, I guess, like taking over their kids. But then like to continue doing that over time to innocent people, that villainizes them. So I guess in that respect, that's a little bit murky to me. I don't know, like I don't know how to feel about that. Up until the twist, I was assuming that it wasn't them, that it was that the kids were crazy and evil or that it was the original owners of the house. But now knowing that it was not and now knowing who it really was, I'm not sure how to feel like, or at least I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel because it comes across like they're bad. So, I mean, maybe that is the intention that I do not know. But in general, putting all of that aside, was this good? Yes. It was good. I very much enjoyed this. This kind of like, in a way, reminded me of the movie with Kate Blanchett, The Gift, which was really, really good. I watched it over on Patreon. This was kind of like, in the same vein, I like it. Let me know what you guys thought about the skeleton key down in the comments, and I will see you for the next video.